Hello everyone, Todd Smitala here. We're going to be talking about some basics of PBS today, in particular these three tabs right here, Days Off, Pairing, and Line, as well as the Layer tab. Each month we get a giant bid packet of all the pairings, and PBS is just our way to express preferences of which pairings we'd like to fly and how we'd like to arrange them on our schedule. So it's a two-step process. We have to find the pairings, and then we have to express our preference of how we would like it to appear on our calendar over here. So the pairing tab is the one we're going to use to express our preferences for the actual pairings, the raw materials. And then we'll use the days off and line tabs here to express how we would like to put those pairings on our calendar. So let's get started here with the pairing tab. We have two options here right away. We can search pairings, we can search through the entire bid packet and find different pairings that way, or we can add our properties that we'd like to sort. So this is basically specific bidding and this is generic bidding. So we'll talk a little bit more about that shortly as well. So for this example, we're gonna start with a specific bid. So I'll click on search pairings and add more search criteria. We can look for a layover at city here. I'm going to do Sao Paulo. And when you're doing specific bidding, it's usually because you want to find a particular trip on a particular date. So when a date's really important to you, you only want to fly it on a particular date. That's really the main case that you would use for specific bidding. So I would say I want to try to fly these only on Monday. So I'm going to click it right here. Add it to layer one. I want to try the 12th as well, adding that one also to layer one on the 19th. And here we see that I have added my four bids. Now it's important if you're going to do this type of bidding, you really want to be fairly certain that you can hold these. I would not be able to hold these at my seniority. Um, but just for the example, we'll continue with this. You can then check your, your bids over here in the layer tab. And it shows, yes, we've added in 36 pairings because I've added in all of the positions for each one of these right now. The next thing you'd want to check on your layer tab here then is your view your pairing set. If you click here, we can see these are the four trips that we've added right now. So if I want to see my details about it, whatever I need to know, it's all right here. This is my bid right now. I'm saying I want these four trips. That's all I've expressed as far as preferences so far. We can go back to the layer overview, and there we see again the 36. And after we have this giant number here, that's because I haven't put any more preferences in. So that's everything else. Now, if I were to just take these out, I'm gonna delete them quickly. This is kind of how I started. At the beginning, I didn't have any preferences in, so it's got everything in there right now. As soon as I put a preference in, it shifts the other ones down one layer. So now we'll go back over to the pairing tab and bid generically, the same type of thing. So at my seniority, I'd be lucky if I could hold a single uh, Sao Paulo trip. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to just go in and click on layover at city and click Sao Paulo this way and put all of the Sao Paulo trips into my layer one. All right. Now, the difference is when I bid specifically and I put those here on the Mondays, I had a little green bar here that showed where I put them. When I put them in generically, it doesn't do that. However, over on the layer tab, I can see here that I put in my 600 pairings right here for Sao Paulo layover at City. And again, I can look at all of the details here. It has all of the dates. This is how you really check your work. This tells you exactly what you're bidding right here. And you can see there's four pages of this. There's short Sao Paulo's, there's long Sao Paulo's, they're all mixed in here. If I have a preference of one over the other, I would put that in. But again, at my seniority, I'd be lucky to hold one even as a speaker. So you'll see already we've done two different ways of bidding for Sao Paulo. Initially, I did it very specifically for just four trips, and that was fine. And then I did it generically here. Now, there's really no difference between those. I could have put each one in specifically as well, but it wouldn't be very efficient. So the important thing is getting them in here, looking at your pairing set, whatever you see here, this is what you're bidding. If you put it in generically, that's fine. If you put it in specifically, that's fine. There's no difference really between the two of them. The reason you might want to bid specifically 
would be if it's very important to you to have it on a specific date. But if you're just okay with any date and you want to bid as many as you possibly can for that type of trip, then generic would probably be the way to go. So for this example, we've got all of these Sao Paulo's in there, 600 of them. But now I want to tell the system a little bit more about how I would like them to appear on my calendar. That's where the days off tab comes in and the line tab. We'll start with days off. So I can say, well, I would like to, to maximize my weekend days off. I would like to fly as much of these trips during the week if I have that option. I'm going to add this in right now. The nice thing about this is if it can only give me a trip on the weekend, it's going to do it. But if it has an option to put it on a weekend day or during the week, it will put it during the week. And again, it's only a weekend day, so it could be a Saturday or a Sunday. It's not necessarily weekends off, so you want to keep that in mind. But that's one way of kind of sculpting how we would like to put these trips on there. The other one is over on the line tab. And here, there are a number of different options here. We can put in our credit. First of all, how much flying time we want to do. We can put in, um, we can put in if we're interested in doubling up or doing multiple pairings, you know, having trips overlap on a single day. Um, we have a lot of our waivers here too. We'll talk a little bit about that. So on this one, I'm just going to choose my wave 30 in seven. All right, because this, I'm going to add that into layer one. And then we'll look over here quick on the layer tab. I'm going to check my work here to see how long are these trips, right? If I look in the layer, in the pairing set, I can see there's 1701. So for me to get two of those, like one here and then one here, I would need to wave my 30 and seven for that to happen. So that's why I wound up doing that. Just an example of a, how you would put in a bid for a line property, a days off property, and then a pairing property. And just to note, if you are going to bid specifically over here, there is a limit to the number of bids that you can actually put in. So if you're doing each one of these on a specific date, at, when you get to 300, the system is going to say you can't do any more like that. So if you're bidding like that, it's probably because you're doing too many of these actual specific sequences on specific dates. So if, if that's what's happening, it, there's probably a better way to sculpt your bid using generic properties to get the same results.